everybody. As you already know, my name is Allison Grace and welcome to my channel. So today I've decided to do something a little new. I'm going to be playing Animal Crossing or New Horizons on the Switch. I have actually not played Animal Crossing since probably early high school for City Folk. And I used to upload videos on that, but <laughs> we've upgraded now. So I've already gotten started, but now I'm going to be looking for a spot to place my house. <laughs> Name is Sheldon, and his little tagline is cardio. He's so cute. Okay. So he must be a very athletic type, like a jock. They have peaches. Lots of peaches. That's so peaceful. I used to play Animal Crossing all the time when I was a lot younger. Sherry. Cheeky. It's <laughs> a big decision. Oh, Sherry's so sweet. But as long as we're here, at least we'll be neighbors. I really want to explore the area because I have not been on this island before. So. From what I can gather, the presence, uh, the uh, premise of New Horizons is you land on a deserted island and you get to live your life here. So, one thing I really like about Animal Crossing now is how they make a lot of the characters a lot more. How do I say this without being too PC? But a lot more inclusive. So when I was in. But when I was a kid and I used to play City Folk, to have a character that looked like me, I had to either get a tan and stand outside in the sun for a couple of hours, or I had to use one of my knees. And, you know, I mean, I didn't mind because I really didn't care as a kid. But for some people, that really matters, being able to represent themselves. So, do I want to live near the lake? Or near the river? Excuse me. I don't know. And I'm not really in the mood to live near Tom Nick. Okay, so from what I can gather, I have to live on this side because there's no bridge, so I finally learned my lesson. I think I'm going to set up camp probably away from everybody so I can have incentive to like get out and try new things. <laughs> Let's see. So I can just set it down here. Not what I meant to do, excuse me. I don't know the buttons. I didn't pay that much attention, but I think you press X. There we go. I'm gonna build my tent here. Whoops, I'm too close to the water. I need more room. Sorry. Uh <clears throat> Okay. How about out here in the middle of nowhere? Should I put my tent here? Let me imagine it. Let me imagine it. I wanna see what it looks like. She's so cute! Oh, that's so cozy! I'm right by a peach tree. I have a river. I can see across the river, and I've got a bunch of land. I love it. This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. <laughs> I set up my tent! That's a big first step. Okay. I, am I able to go in? Oh, Tom Nick. Nick still needs to tell me a few things, so I'll check this out later. Okay. Fair enough. The music is so peaceful. Animal Crossing music is one of my favorite things <laughs> in the whole world. Hi, Tom Nook. The alone shot. <laughs> Okay. Well, I guess that means I have to talk to them again. <laughs> but I don't mind talking to the animals, they're so sweet. Fresh air? Everywhere's got fresh air. Nobody's here. Hmm. Do I want to. Hmm. Do I want him to live here? 
There's not much room. How about I find him a spot? Of course. Of course, Sheldon. <laughs> I love doing heavy lifting on friendships. There we go. Don't worry, Sheldon. I won't let you down, buddy. Okay, let's see. He wants a place to work out. And I don't even think it's really going to matter too much. I really want to live near Sherry. She is a sweetheart. Um, how about I put him over here? This is a good middle of something space. Right over here. This is good. I like it. Sure, why not? Let me imagine it. Oh, that's a cozy little tent. Sure, let's build it there. Sheldon's got a place for his tent now. Isn't that awesome? I'm so proud of Angel. She's out here helping people. In City Folk, I don't remember us being able to set where our neighbors live. I think they just live there and we moved in last. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen Sherry's face, actually. She grabbed a stick and threw it? Uh, okay. How about I tell her I'll find her? Well, you know what? She likes it, but I'm still going to be rude and say I'll find you a spot. It's your show now, Cheeky. Aw, she looks like she's got some Of course. in the meantime. I feel like this is what we're supposed to do to advance the game, but... I don't know. It feels a little bit like we're taking control over their lives, but I think that's kind of the beauty of Animal Crossing is being able to live the life you always wanted to while being extorted by a tanuki, but... I don't mind it! I really don't! I really don't. Do I want to live right next to Sherry? Because there may be better people who come into town. So I'll put her right over here. That way I can live close to her. Uh, no. I need to rethink it. Shift over just a little bit, buddy. There we go. I know this is the spot. I already know it's good. I already know it's good. <sighs> Sherry's got a place for her tent now. Beautifully done. Looks like everyone has a spot picked out for their tents now. I need to get back to the plaza. Okay. Normally I would talk way more, but I've, I haven't seen anything about New Horizons ever. So I'm just kind of in awe at how far Animal Crossing has come. Serious business? Like throwing an island in the party, okay. Teamwork, okay. Timmy, Sherry, Tommy, and Sheldon can set up things here in the plaza. What about me? <laughs> okay, uh, Tom Nook. I'm not really here for this. I'm not really here for this, I'm not gonna lie. But, okay, Tom Nook. I'm ready for the extortion. Ten tree branches. Okay. Okay, I pick it up with one. The peach-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real peaches. I would hope so. I would really hope so. Alright. I don't know if any of you have ever played Animal Crossing. I don't even know if anybody's ever going to see this, but... I think one of the things I like about Animal Crossing is just an appreciation for the simple things. You know, you don't have to have really an intense job. You just... And money, for some reason, is just 
It's just easy to come by because the mediums of the mediums of the exchange are so different. I think Animal Crossing being that utopia of like a stress-free life where you still have accountability and responsibility, but you mainly focus on just being a good person. That's what everybody wants. But the world we live in doesn't allow for it, so that could be why we dream of living in an Animal Crossing. I think it's also because I can't fall and die in the water. I really hope I wasn't about to fall. That would have been terrible. Um, I never got to live in a town with peaches. I used to reset my Animal Crossing worlds all the time, and all I would get were apples, cherries on the rare occasion, and a whole bunch of pears and oranges. So, all I know is that life. Oh, I have 13 tree branches. Okay. I love how there's so many butterflies. It's just really a, a life of relaxation. Like, this is like a legitimate life of luxury as opposed to having a big house, a big car, a big yacht, and everything. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> See, I always go above and beyond. My fifth grade science teacher said I was an overachiever. And you know what, Miss Lake? Actually, I think she got married. But you know what? I still am. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep them. Oh, goodness. Of course. My class of the Desolate Island was such a hard worker. Is it really? That sounds so... Sounds so negative. I'm going to snack on it. You know, Tom Nook reminds me just a little bit of my uncle. Not in a bad way, but the shirt gives me my uncle, like an uncle vibe. I don't know. I know he's Timmy and Tommy. They are peaches, Tom Nook. <laughs> Six peaches, sure. I just... Press A, yeah. Same as uh, City Pool. I still can't believe that I never got Wild World for myself. Like, I don't have a Switch, actually. I might want to clarify. I don't have a Switch, but Zion does, my dearly beloved boyfriend. So, I, um, I asked him to download Animal Crossing for me. Right now it's $60, and I know whenever I get older it's probably going to cost less, and I don't even know what I just picked up. But, for the meantime, especially because we're in quarantine, it is not a problem. Especially because I tutored somebody right before everything went on lockdown, and I was able to get $60 from them, so. Which reminds me, um... In a future video, I'll be talking about some other ventures for different YouTube channels I'll be putting up. And when that happens, there will be one that's about, you know, economics and stuff like that. And I'll go into more proper formalities later, but just keep an eye out for that. I do tutor uh, both online and in person when, you know, there's not a pandemic, so... FIRE! <laughs> If you need help, let me know. <laughs> he looks so serious. If I were an Animal Crossing character, I would honestly want to be a cat. That would be so fun. There will be more people, I'm sure of it. Mm-hmm. It's not done. What should we call the? Oh, should we? What should we call the island? Um. Yay! We get to name the island. Okay. In the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules. Hmm. It'll take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. Okay, so I get to... I have to pick an appropriate name, and I can't change it. Um... I'm not gonna lie. My first thought was... Since he's a raccoon, I was thinking, like, Coonville. 
but uh, <laughs> I don't think that Coonville is quite what I want to start with because I may have to show this to other people. So, uh, I'm not going to call it Furball Island. That would be cute, though. Um, what would be a good name for the island? Uh, the name for the island. Uh, you know what? Hmm. I'm probably going to have to cut part of this out. I'm really thinking, uh, I used, I don't even remember what I used to name my, uh, town in the past. You know what? We'll, we'll go with, we'll just keep it really, really simple and just, oops, no, not quite what I meant. Sorry. It's not going to be RP. Uh, I'm just gonna start with... Rose. Rosewood. Rosewood would be good. Rosewood Island is a good one. Yeah, Rosewood Island. Wholesome. Not Coonville. Is everyone ready? Oh, Nooktopia, Nook Kids, Bluff Bird, a whole bunch. Now for the voting, I'll say each name in order and you can clap for the one you think is best. Angel seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities, huh? Angel suggested Rosewood. Everybody clapped! Everybody clapped! <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen, but okay. What about everybody else's? I think those would have been cute. Oh, oh, everybody's happy. This island will be known as Rosewood. Well, Angel. Oh. Me coming up with a name does not mean I can rule the world, but I do plan to do that someday, so. I'm the resident representative of Rosewood. Look, I'm putting that on my resume, resume and that's that's on period. That's on, that's on period. Oh, her face looks way different than I thought. So I'm the resident representative? Okay, you already know. How do you... <laughs> ah. Could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson? And I really want to... You know what? A word or two. <laughs> A toast. Where did we all get the drinks from? Everyone have a beverage in their hand? I actually have a goblet that says princess on it. Oh, what's this juice made from peaches? Aww. Yay! Cheers! Woo! That's adorable. Oh, that's awesome. I wish I could dance. That'd be so cute. Okay. They're all so cute! Oh my gosh! Where do I even start? Like, I have three tree branches and a clump of weeds. Okay, Timmy. So I have to talk to Mr. Nook about it. Are Tommy and Timmy still related to Tom Nook? Rosewood. 
Of course, it's my pleasure. All right, Sherry, how are you feeling? I've never settled an island before. Something rad. Please don't. This is oh lord. Okay. I love it with the little tambourine. Okay, Sheldon. Turn me up, Sheldon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is adorable. All right, Tom Nook, I need to know what's going on here. I'm not tired yet, though. Just stop by and for a quick check before you turn. I have something to give you. Okay, you know what? I'll turn in for now, and then I'll do the next episode real quick. You'll probably want this. Ooh, it's a leaf. It's a camping cot. Oh, I get a bed. With some care packages. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom Nick. Can't wait for you to swindle me tomorrow. Alright, everybody. I'm going to bed. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, and I get a little mailbox. Aww. I'm sorry. This is just like so pure to me. Oh, what is this? Do I get the little lullaby music? I don't speak animalese, though. I'm sorry. Welcome Horizons is currently playing. Turn it up! Oh, and I get a lamp. How sweet. And then a camping cot. If that were pink, I could live here for a while. To some extent. Okay, that doesn't work the way I thought it would. Here, grab it for me, please. Okay, this doesn't work the way I thought it would. Never mind, sorry girl. There we go. Whoops. This sounds like, you know, the regular Animal Crossing theme. To some extent, not the same way, but it's like really close. Okay, she wants to sleep there, that's fine. I'm not gonna complain. All right. Obviously, this isn't the best commentary. I'm just really feeling this right now, but stay tuned. Uh, she's asleep. Well, don't forget to, oh. Hey, KK Slider. <laughs> This reminds me a lot of where Rover used to be. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. And the debt to Tom Nook, but... I think that's why people like Animal Crossing. Mm. It is. It really is. I love how he says take it from a cat who's been on the road, but he's a dog. And I know that's not literal, but I just thought that was very ironic. Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. You've got to make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world is Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, man. Friends are where it's at. I love my friends. And I miss them. At least I've got Zion while we're in quarantine, but I definitely miss my squad. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. <laughs> Don't worry, I ramble all the time. If I'm not talking at all, I'm talking too much. <laughs> I'll listen to that rap about friends is pretty key. You'll dig this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends. If that's your scene, of course, I love friends. 
An island paradise with your best pal sounds pretty groovy to me. Yeah. If I... Yeah, if I lived on an island with all my friends, with all my best friends, that'd be crazy. Jesus. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Take that island life on okay. okay. When he stops talking, this episode's over. So don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. As you already know, my name is Allison Grace. I make videos on Fridays and whenever I feel like it. And we'll be back soon.